potentially to take him within one of this man. But he go for birdie at two as well. And he has putted well this week. It's another one. Yeah, that carried it's it by 20. Distance. 200 left for Higo. Just a smooth six iron up this hill to the par five. Well, straight over the top of the flag, but a firm bounce, maybe a slight misjudgment in club or wind. And it's pretty smooth in front of him down to the flag, but he opts in for the back foot punch. Well, that is absolutely magnificent from Garrick Higo. At the six. Just a little bit of draw from left to right. Always seems very strange saying that, but he's left-handed. He's got all the shots. You need it here this afternoon. right at the flag but with a very good short game it shouldn't be too much of a problem for Garrick Higo well, he didn't get that speed spot on He's left himself more than he would have liked to do now this is a test here just watch the hand see how Look at that, silky smooth right through, no jerky action through the ball there, not at 21 years of age anyway. I'm not sure we've seen him miss from four or five feet or so. He really does seem to stroke those in. Seems to be a quick learner with his short game. He hit it 330 down here yesterday, what's he going to do today? Again, the rhythm and tempo with the driver today has been calmer. Change of direction has been quieter and he's driving the ball way better. Yesterday he said I was even surprised by some of the places I hit it. Just looks so comfortable over the ball. He knows he's got to keep it right at the pin. Yeah, safe shot. Perfect. That's all he needed to do there. Didn't want to mess around with that bunker on the left. Bit of right to left overall. Oh, he's tracking. He's tracking. Good lord. What a putt that is. I'm afraid it was a bit of a hacking front line. He was only out in 30. Incredible. 22 under. It's a decent one, which I'm sure he will. And, uh, right. Going, keep going. Oh, he's got such a good short game. I don't think he could putt. He could putt that from there, but he'll probably chip it. Down grain, downwind. Had to be careful with that one, guys. That to me just shows great maturity. I saw Jeff Winter run it through into the bunker, so we can. A test to how quick that green is. And once again to the tenth, this time for all. He goes birdie putt. Yeah, similar line, Tom, down the hill. This is his thirteenth putt of the round. And when you're leading on a Sunday, that'll get it done for you. Well, he's pouring them in for fun at the moment, isn't it? Two birdies around the turn for Garrick Higo. He extends his lead once again. Jumping four shots clear of Max Kiefer, who, remember, has started this back nine. Eagle birdie. 4.79, this 11th. Dog leg right to left. Wind howling off the right. So just trying to hit a little cut. Aim down the left. I'm so impressed with the change he's made since yesterday in the, in the driving. He was ranked 119th in driving accuracy coming into this round. 
and he's just calmed his tempo down and driven it beautifully. Doesn't seem to jump at it though, does he? It's within him. Uh, I thought he was yesterday a little bit, but today it's smooth as silk. Yeah, he's in it as far as well. 107. Just a lob wedge. the Scott currently the leading left-hander in the world rankings well the longer I look at this the straighter it looks it should be just a touch off the right but see what he does he's old everything so far no you're right it was a bit off the right actually more than a bit actually Beauty. Big drive there. Have on. Go way right. I'm not surprised. 2 2 2. All up. 4 iron. Another one straight at it. Beautiful shot. Really is. What a chance that is. Connor Symes laid up in two. It was so beautifully controlled, wasn't oh, yeah. it? Really was. This is a man right on top of his game. What a shot he's hitting here. That was the four iron, and it was a control one as well under the wind. Beautiful shot. And this is just straight up the green, boys. I can't see anything in it. The way he's putted. This could seal the deal, couldn't it? Well, it would give him a four shot lead. Oh, it will move right to left, he hasn't hit that nowhere near. That's probably the worst putt he's hit all week. Yeah. Is he starting to feel it? Nope. Not at all. That's just down the right-hand side. I think he's okay. He's lucky between these two palm trees. He can just about see the right edge of the green. Hmm. It's no formality to get up and down from there, Richard, in two, is it? This is certainly not. That'll test his uh, short game. Fairway, it'll stick. He's got a pitch on the green and get some spin. He's into the wind. Well, that is absolutely fabulous. I remember chatting with Jordan Spieth once and he said, these are the shots that really test you when the adrenaline's flooding through your veins and you're under pressure trying to win a tournament. The little touch shots around the green. Pick up some points there. Here's the leader at the last. A little further than that, Mr. Cameraman. Crikey. Huh? Nearly driven the green. Well, he hasn't quite. 528 yards the last hole. That won't be much more than a sand iron in from there. Now this fella, 127 sand iron. Sensible shot, just playing left of the flag. Absolutely perfect. Two putts for 25 under. For a closing eagle. Fine effort. for a closing 63 and at 21 years of age Garrick Higo has won for the second time on the European Tour and he's won comfortably as well in the end by three shots
Garrick, congratulations. This is your second European Tour win. Yes. How does it feel to be the Grand Canaries Lofasan Open champion? It's unreal. Um, Jeez, I can't put it into words. It just feels amazing. It's, it's quite a relief finishing now. <laughs> You're only 21 years old. Yeah. You put on an extremely mature performance there. When did it really feel like a turning point for you when you know that you got the job done? Probably the birdies on 9 and 10, it was, a, it was big for me um, in terms of my confidence. Um, but I mean, it wasn't over until the last hole really. Um, I knew anything could happen and especially with the wind coming up, it was, it was a bit stressful. <laughs> <laughs> this wind gives you a two-year exemption now. So what, what does it look like looking ahead in terms of your goals and aspirations? Jeez, um, it's just going to keep going forward. Um, play next week, the week after, um, see where, you know, see where my game goes. It feels good. I've worked really, really hard um, with my coach and everyone back home. Um, so yeah, it, it feels amazing. Well, everyone's got a team these days. Who would you like to thank that's helped you out with your success so far? Jeez, my mom, uh, my girlfriend, my coach Cliff, um, Garth Milne, who just joined now, um, my stepdad Ian, um, everyone, just everyone back home. Thanks so much. Well, congratulations. It's a spectacular week. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much. To watch another European tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.